Hey everybody, this is Tim from AndroidPCReview.com. Yugoose has a new firmware for their UT3, and we're going to show you how to install it. Yugoose is all of their firmware is listed on their website's download center. Everything is in date order, so it's pretty easy to find out what the latest file is. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download that and save it to a location on your hard drive. Now the files are hosted on Mega, but you don't have to create an account with them in order to download the firmware. Once the file is downloaded, unzip it to a temporary directory. You're going to have two subfolders, batch tool and driver assistant. You've also got the image file there. Finally, you're going to have a Word document manual, but there's a better PDF instruction file in the download area itself. If you haven't installed the PC drivers for your UT3 before, you'll need to do that before you can upgrade the firmware. In the driver assistant folder, run the driver install program. If you've installed any drivers manually on a PC, this is pretty much the same process, so I'm not going to go into it in detail here. Once that's done, you can go back to the batch tool folder and run the rkbatchtool.exe file. This is the program that will actually extract the firmware to the UT3 from your PC. Once your drivers are installed and the batch tool is up and running, it's time to connect it to your PC. Take the blue USB cable, plug it into the OTG port on the UT3, and an available USB port on your PC. The port will be labeled and you'll find it on the same side as a recover button, which is shown here. Once the USB cable is connected, hold down the recover button and turn the UT3 on using the main power button. This will cause that green connected devices icon to light up as you can see on the screen here. Click on the button in the upper right hand corner to select your firmware image. This will be in the same directory as the batch tool and driver assistant folders. I like to double check my language option here as well before I hit the upgrade button. From here, the process is going to take over and run for a little over a minute. You'll hear the normal window sounds for devices connecting and disconnecting a couple times. Don't worry, that's normal. You'll also see the individual tasks that are being done and the status there right underneath the flashing yellow box. Now, newer versions of the firmware are available over the air, so you have that option later. Here we upgraded from an older version, so that wasn't the case. So think of this video as the longest this process should take. Now, I'd like to say that this entire process was very quick and very easy, but I really can't. Like I said earlier, there's a new document on Ugus's download setter, which goes into a bit more detail for the UT3 and UM3 Android Mini PCs, but the document included in the firmware leaves a bit to be desired. So that's why I created this video tutorial. The hardest part for me was trying to get the drivers installed. It required a bit of a balancing act with one hand pressing the recover button, one controlling a mouse while balancing UT3 on my knee with a very short cable. Honestly, even with the help of some forum posts on Yugus's forums and as well as freaktab.com, it still took me the better part of an hour just to get this to work. So hopefully watching this video will cut that time down for you. Once you're done, you'll get an upgrade done successfully message. After that, you can disconnect from your PC and congratulations, you're done. So if you like this video, check out AndroidPCReview.com and subscribe to this YouTube page for more Android mini PC videos. Thanks for watching.